Ian Paisley. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, for calling me uh, to make my maiden speech uh, during uh, this debate on the address. Uh, can I also thank the previous speaker for laying the runway as it was for me to take flight today, and indeed for uh, touching at the end of a speech on some very poignant issues, issues which are relevant to many members uh, across this House from all parties, and supporting our troops, and supporting employment, and supporting jobs and job development, and indeed supporting cancer patients, and an issue which is personally relevant to me as a member of my family, too, um, would echo the calls that you have made today to ensure that this government releases funding to ensure that certain cancer drugs are available um, for uh, people suffering from cancer so as that they do not have to pay for those drugs out of their own money. And indeed, I, I echo and support the call that you have made. Like any new member entering this House, I suppose we are all struck by a sense of awe when we enter into this chamber. Uh, anticipation of what lies before us as parliamentarians and as members of this House, and indeed fully aware of the history of this place. And I suppose I, I know that, that than other, I'm aware of some of the burden of that. Um, I, I've been graciously mentioned by some previous speakers on Tuesday during the, 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 the Queen's uh, 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 debate, um, in particular um, uh, the member for North Belfast. And of course, the, the member for East Leicester uh, mentioned Mayor Leicester East uh, in his comments, uh, and uh, they, they both, uh, I suppose, uh, encouraged me by saying, "Don't worry, it's, it's okay to be talked about in this place. It's when you're not talked about when it, uh, that, that, that it isn't uh, so so good." But I, I would say that um, they gave me a very warm welcome, uh, and they said, "Welcome home." And I suppose, unlike some other members, who's uh, father has sat on these benches for 40 years, and I see the member opposite who beats me with his father sat for 50 years on these benches. Um, but uh, I know that uh, being welcomed home, if you like, into this place uh, is a little bit more relevant for me in that regard. Uh, someone said earlier today that uh, most people tend to leave this house to spend more time with their family. I suppose I could be forgiven for coming to this house to spend a little bit more time with my family members who uh, have been in this house and are in another place uh, today. So it is good uh, to actually be here. I can also say that um, I suppose I, I also have to follow in giant footsteps. And like my constituency that boasts the giant's causeway, I, I follow in the footsteps ever so lightly of a giant public representative who represented North Antrim. Uh, for four decades and uh, made the case for those people without fear or favour and made an imprint not only in Ulster politics, on the politics of this House and British politics, but indeed also in Irish politics. And I salute him for that stand that he made. I know that making a, a maiden speech you have to say something complimentary about those people who have gone before you. And I suppose at this point a member advised me, you know, you, you could now use parliamentary pr privilege and say what you really like about your father. Um, but uh, I, I, I must say, what, what you see is what you get. There's nothing else to tell you. And maybe that will come as a sense of relief to many members around this house. But uh, it, it, it is, uh, I'm very, very proud, very, very proud of the former Member of Parliament for North Antrim, my father, uh, who represented this constituency so well and uh, indeed even though he did set me a challenge before the election that if you don't get elected you're no son of mine i'm glad that the 19,000 odd voters for me conferred my parentage uh, 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 at election day and didn't leave me with that scarring but um uh, it is a, a privilege as i say to follow someone who's not just been part of history but a history maker uh, and for me that is very encouraging i salute him today as, as a former member Given the, the longevity of his service, I, I hadn't really much texts to go back and look at former maiden speeches for North Antrim. And Mr. Speaker, I, I, I fear I, I have to warn you that the last maiden speech, and Mr. Deputy Speaker, the last maiden speech for North Antrim was one that was considered to have broken every single rule in, in the book. It was, by all accounts, far too long. It was definitely controversial. He was called to order whilst making his speech, and I understand at times it was even far too loud. Uh, but I, I hope that, uh, I, that, that you will indulge me today, that I will, I will not uh, go into any of those uh, misdemeanours. But maybe on uh, other occasions you will indulge us Ulster members as we continue our controversies from time to time. 
can also say that um, the contrast between the time when the former member for North Antrim made his maiden speech in 1970 and speech could not be more stark. When he made that speech, Ulster was tearing itself apart. Civil unrest, economic uncertainty, uh, political instability. I'm glad that today, when I have the privilege of making my maiden speech on behalf of the electors of North Antrim, we know that the helplessness has given way to hope. We know that the heartache has given way to heart rejoicing, that we see terrorism has been turned on its head, and that we see that there has been a dramatic change to the um, situation in Northern Ireland, a dramatic change that has led, I, I believe, to hope, to economic opportunity, despite the cuts that are being threatened by the government, but indeed uh, opportunity for all the people. And I welcome that and indeed look forward to working in this Parliament to make that hope a reality for all my constituents and for all the people of Northern Ireland, because I believe that is incredibly important.